Namo Sakyamuni Buddha. Dear Venerable Sangha, Buddhist ladies and gentlemen, you are invited to join us in this weekly Buddhist newsreel on Fetcher online channel. Hereafter, seven major headlights of Buddhist activities of the week. Ho Chi Minh City, Congregation of Monastic Affairs Section to discuss organizing the Great Ordination Sima. Thu Thinh Hue, Professional Training Course on Buddhist Information and Communications in 4.0 Industry. Vietnam Buddhist Sangha calls for support to Indian monks and people. Ho Chi Minh City, Administrative Council of Vietnam Buddhist Sangha appeals for support to India for overcoming COVID-19 pandemic. Central Cultural Board of Vietnam Buddhist Sangha conducts a survey on Buddhism heritage and architectural relics. Hanam Pamchuk Pagoda suspended receiving visitors and offered gifts to people in the isolation area due to COVID-19. Davin Lombu Pagoda inaugurates Intercommune Bridge No. 39 and starts construction of rural traffic facilitating bridge No. 48. And following are the news in details. Since the establishment of Vietnam Buddhist Sangha up till now, over the past 40 years, the monastic affairs have always been the foremost important role of the Sangha. In order to have the unity of the content and organization of the Great Ordination Sima in the Sangha, the Central Board of Monastic Affairs Section, for the first time, organized a conference to discuss this issue on the morning of April 28, 2021, at a conference hall of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, Quang Đức Gia Monastery, Ho Chi Minh City. In witness, it was honored to have religious dignitaries of council patients, standing board of administrative council, and the attendance of nearly 300 representatives from provincial administrative boards of 34 central and southern provinces. Speaking at the opening of the conference, Most Venerable Thich Thien Pháp said that, with the desire to improve efficiency in organizing the monastic affairs, especially the organization of the Great Ordination Saima, the Central Board of the Sangha held this conference to unify the organization of the Great Ordination Saima. Thus, a generation of young monks and nuns who fully increased the dignity after being ordained by the monk master teachers. In the blessing words, Most Venerable, the chairperson of the Administrative Council reviewed the history of the Great Ordination Saima periods in the southern provinces from the date of the Sangha's establishment up to now. According to the development of the Sangha, provincial administrative boards of provinces and cities have gradually expanded the scale of opening the Great Ordination Saima. According to statistics, each year, more than five rounds of Great Ordination Saima are held in the South, with more than 25,000 monks and nuns being ordained in the past 40 years. However, the organizing of Great Ordination Saima in general has not been unified. So, most venerable, the chairman appreciated this conference, as well as the determination of the Central Board for the promotion of the initiative to meet the expectations of the Sangha. Steering the conference program, the most venerable wished that the venerable monks contributed many practical and effective ideas and discussed together to come to a consensus on organizing the Great Ordination Saima in accordance with the Buddha's established Dharma, the regulated rules of meditation as proven by the patriarchs and in respect of the sectarian nature. Through the comments of the delegates, the presiding deities imparted the opinions and presented thoroughly detailed explanations. Accordingly, the conference attendants basically agreed on a number of important contents. The Central Board will continue to study to come up with a common standard in the aspect of organizing the Great Ordination Saima for official issuance in the coming time. During two days of April 29 and 30, 2021, the Central Committee of the Information and Communication Section in collaboration with the Provincial Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, Thu Thinh Hue Province, 
organized a professional training course on Buddhist information and communications in the 4.0 industry at the Dam Pagoda in Thutinghue province for nearly 500 monks and nuns, Buddhist under the Buddhist Information and Communication section of 63 provinces and cities nationwide. The head of the training course organizing board is Dr. Most Venerable Thich Sa Quang, Vice Chairman of Administrative Council, head of the Central Board of Information and Communication sections. In witness, it was honored to have religious dignitaries of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha and the representative of the Government Committee for Religious Affairs, Mr. Vu Chien Thang and Mr. Nguyen Phuc Nguyen and other lecturers and representatives of local departments of Thừa Thiên Huế province. Speaking at the opening ceremony, Dr. Most Venerable Thich Gia Quang, head of the organizing committee, emphasized this training course aims to supplement and improve knowledge and skills in information and communications to keep up with the pace of the new era, propagating the Brahma, applying the jurisprudence, making use of effective technological achievements, contributing to promoting the Dharma, benefiting human beings. On behalf of the Government Committee for Religious Affairs, Mr. Wu Tang emphasized the meaning and importance of this training course. According to him, this is an opportunity for Shanghai's Central Committee to pay attention to evaluate the management and professional capacity in the field of Buddhist information and communications. He said that many important monastic affairs of the Buddhist Shanghai have been directed and published by the Central Board and posted on the pages Fatsao.org, Fatsuonline.com, Anvian's television, and the website of provincial sections of information and communications, which have people from all walks of life access Buddhism in an orthodox way, thus to have righteous political view to apply in everyday life. In particular, in the context of COVID-19 pandemic, the Buddhist information and communications channels had active propaganda news coverage on strictly implementing the Prime Minister's directives in pandemic prevention. Venerable Thich Đức Thiện also said that Buddhist communication activities from 2019 until now have attracted thousands of participants, bringing Buddhist teaching to life, promptly handling the communication crisis and preventing bad images from affecting the Buddhist. The Venerable also hoped that through this training course, participants would increase their ability to identify those media productions which attract heat caused and those of media poster who prevent to be monks, so that prompt responses could be enacted in the media to preserve the image of Sangha. The Venerable also reminded the monks and nuns, Buddhists doing the work of Buddhist information and communications to continue the propaganda for the community to seriously implement the COVID-19 pandemic prevention and control. This is the fourth time the Shanghai's Central Board organized a professional training course for monks, nuns, collaborators, and Buddhists in the field of Buddhist information and communications. The training course of Buddhist information and communications in the 4.0 industry was officially closed on the morning of April 30, 2021. More than 400 participants were awarded certificates and Dr. Most Venerable Thich Sa Quang, head of the organizing committee, highly appreciated the full attendance of monks, nuns, and Buddhists from 63 provinces across the country. The Most Venerable was also grateful to the experienced and enthusiastic lecturers for sharing valuable knowledge through particular and lively illustrated contents. Confronting the second wave of the COVID-19 pandemic, which is ravaging India, the standing section of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha Administrative Council issued the official letter number 94 HDTS VP1 to appeal to people from all walks of life to support the Indian monks and people. 
Accordingly, the official letter by Venerable Thich Duc Thiet, head of the International Buddhist Committee of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, signed on the 3rd of May, 2021, was dispatched to the former students, monks and nuns, and Buddhists who used to study in India. The dispatched official letter specifies, Over the past few days, the COVID-19 pandemic has caused extremely dark consequences in India. The number of infections and deaths continues to rise to big records each day. Currently, India is in a shortage of medical supplies and equipment to treat the patients. Many countries around the world are sending medical supplies and equipment in aid to India. In order to share the difficulties, to promptly encourage and express solidarity with the people of India in this extremely urgent moment, the Standing Board of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha Administrative Council calls on the Buddhist monks and nuns to alumni in India with one's self feelings to contribute to support the Buddhist monks and the Indian people to overcome the century disaster in India caused by the COVID-19 pandemic during the past few days. The Sangha plans to send 20 AW110 high-pressure oxygen generators worth about 1.2 billion Vietnamese dong and in contact with Mr. Pham Sang Cho, Vietnam ambassador to India, who said that on the 19th of May 2021, there would be a flight from Vietnam to India. Therefore, the time to receive support is from the 3rd of May to the 19th of May 2021. For donation, please send it to bank account number 0851-000-418 of the Central Office of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha at the Commercial Bank for Foreign Trade of Vietnam, commonly referred to as Vietcom Bank or VCB, Hà Thanh Branch. Following the official letter number 94, HDTS, VP1, signed by Venerable Thit Đức Thiện, head of the International Buddhist Section of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha on May 3, 2021, to build Vietnamese Buddhists to support Buddhist monks and the Indian people who are suffering from the catastrophe of the COVID-19 pandemic. The Ho Chi Minh City Permanent Administrative Board of Vietnam Buddhist Sangha also issued official letter number 204 BTS VP signed by Most Venerable Thich Thuy Quang on May 5, 2021, to call for the assistance for India to overcome the COVID-19 pandemic. The official letter appeals the Reverend dignitaries, the members of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, sector specialized sections, district administrative boards of 24 districts, monks and nuns, esteemed Buddhist and philanthropists, kind-hearted intellectuals, businessmen, people of various classes, with an affluent heart concurrently focused on India, the hometown Buddha, the cradle of the Buddhism forever, to sincerely relieve the tormenting pain and loss with practical work. It is an urgent need for financial support to help India with sufficient inputs to overcome the COVID-19 pandemic. Ho Chi Minh City Buddhist Sangha plans to support India 1 billion Vietnamese dome. Your support could be sent to the office of Ho Chi Minh City Sangha Administrative Board Vietnam National Pagoda. Contacts for further details. Most Venerable Ticket 1 0913 926 905. Venerable Tick Chung Nguyen 0903 125 445. Master Nan Tick Nữ Như Hoa 0949 076 862. After a field visit in Hue for the Buddhist Architectural and Heritage Project, the Central Cultural Board, led by Venerable Thich Tho Lạc, head of the board, and professors, doctors, surveyed experts, and researchers of Vietnam Buddhist architects, came to work at Pháp Hoa Pagoda, where the Office of Provincial Vietnam Buddhist Sangha of Quang Ngai Province is based. On April 26, 2021, and the team held the seminar Buddhist Architecture of Vietnam on the morning of May 2, 2021 at the Provincial Vietnam Buddhist Sangha Office in Dak Lak Province. 
In the survey briefing meeting held at the office of the provincial Vietnam Medicine Center of Quảng Ngãi Province, Venerable Thich Thoat Lạc announced the purpose of the survey. It was to collect practical information for the four projects, which had been approved by the Administrative Council. The Venerable also disseminated and wrote down the projects. Distinctively uniformed gowns for monks and nuns nationwide, the language spoken in the pagodas, architecture of the temples or pagodas, and finally, heritage of the temples or pagodas in the country. The delegation gave gratitude gifts to the Provincial Administrative Board of the Quảng Ngai Provincial Buddhist Sangha and then in turn visited some pagodas in the province. Quảng Ngai is the fourth location of the Quảng Nam Province under a few survey organized by the Central Culture Board to implement the ongoing Buddhist architectural and heritage projects in preparation for the seminar pre-scheduled in October 2021. Regarding the seminar at the Provincial Vietnam Buddhist Sangha office in Dak Lak Province, the delegation exchanged and discussed the following contents. Buddhist architectural heritage, unification of the Buddhist architecture of the sex, reality of Buddhist architecture, types of Buddhist architecture in Dak Lak and the Central Highlands. After 11 days of survey and discussion with administrative boards in the central provinces, the Central Culture Board agreed on a number of contents and gathered a lot of important information and documents of high value for the research. This is a valuable document in preparation for a seminar on heritage science and Vietnam Buddhist architecture and a prerequisite for implementing the project to contribute to upraising Vietnamese Buddhism to development, prosperity, sustainability, and richness in national cultural identity. To carry out strictly the official letter from Hanan Province's People's Committee and the prevention against COVID-19 pandemic, when Hanan Province had one case of COVID-19 infection, Tam Chuk Pagoda officially announced to suspend the receiving visitors from the afternoon of April 29, 2021. Venerable Thich Minh Quang, Deputy of Board of Tam Chuk Pagoda, said that during the Liberation Day, April 30th, a May Day holiday this year, Tam Chuk Pagoda has prepared to welcome a large number of visitors from all religions. But due to Hanam had one new case of COVID-19 infection, the Management Board of Tam Chuk Pagoda urgently announced to suspend the receiving of visitors until there is new notice. To safeguard the community health during this time, Tam Chup Pagoda also engaged disinfection spray and cleaning within the pagoda premise. On the afternoon of April 30th, 2021, Tam Chup Pagoda also offered gifts of necessities and face masks to support the people quarantined due to the COVID-19 epidemic at the isolating center at the Hanam Provincial Medical College. Total of necessity weighed up to 20 tons, consisting of bread, vegetable, meat, eggs, together with 10,000 pieces of face masks, which were handed over to Hanam Provincial Military Command to support our people in the isolation center. On the morning of May 2nd, 2021, Venerable Thich Minh Tri, Abbot of Longbu Pagoda, Nhi Long Commune, solemnly held the inauguration ceremony of Bridge No. 39 and started the construction of the Rural Traffic Facilitating Bridge No. 48 in Ang Trung A Commune, Davin Province. Attending the inauguration and groundbreaking ceremony were the local government leaders, the benefactors and local people. It is known that the construction of intercommunal bridge number 39 in Loco A Hamlet was funded by American Vietnamese overseas, Mir Tom Fan and Ms. Nguyen Thi Nguyen, who supported the cost of materials and the labor work was contributed by the local people. The bridge is 11 meters long and 2.2 meters wide. After that, the delegation continued the groundbreaking ceremony to start the construction of rural traffic facilitating bridge number 48 in 2021 at Hamlet 9C, Camille Anchung A. The bridge has a length of 12 meters multiplied by 2.2 meters in width. 
The total construction cost of two bridges is nearly 100 million Vietnamese dong. Speaking at the ceremony, Mr. Nguyễn Văn Nhũ, chairman of the People's Committee of Cang Long District, highly appreciated the contributions of Venerable Thich Minh Chi and the Buddhists of Cang Long District, who have helped to build rural traffic facilitating Bridge No. 48, 18 houses and thousands of gifts for the district. He also thanked the sponsors and hopes to receive further support in the future. The ceremony ended after a ribbon-cutting ceremony for one completed bridge and the groundbreaking ceremony to start the construction of another new bridge. Venerable monks and nuns, Buddhist ladies and gentlemen, the last news has signed off this weekly newsreel. Thank you for your attention and following. Goodbye and see you in the next program on PSO TV channel. Namo Sakyamuni Buddha.